Hey guys, what's up? Irish Emeralds here. Welcome back to the Core Forces YouTube channel, where I am once again going to be continuing my rise to the top 100 in PU. Well, my stumbling up to the top 100 in PU. Anyways, that is the aim of the game, guys. If you guys haven't checked out the first two uh, videos on this series, definitely go check uh, go back and check them out. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed them so far. If you have any suggestions or thoughts on it, let me please feel free to let me know uh, what you guys are thinking in the comment section down below. I love hearing the feedback. Definitely helps me get better at a doing these videos for you and be maybe maybe just maybe i might become a battle battler you never know you never know but um we are uh, after what's called the last day uh 12 or 8 uh, here let me let me show you guys a bit better we're 12 or 8 we're 9 and 3 with the record two of the losses came in the last uh video where um look i went over them they're kind of my own fault i choked a little bit and unfortunately because i haven't been able to ladder consistently which is on me like i just haven't been able to get at laddering as hard or as hardcore as I would like to uh, just life has been kicking my ass um, and means that we're a little bit behind on trying to get up the ladder but to be, uh, but what's called I will endeavor to keep uh, doing these a little bit harder a little bit more robustly so that we can hit top 100 sooner rather than later so uh, I still haven't fought, uh, found any real fault with the team just yet, so I'm going to rock out with it, there's going to be no tinkering at all. Just a quick rundown of what it is again, we're rocking out with our Z Celebrate Flareon with Flare Blitz, so a superpower return um, in, and of course Celebrate so we can set up on, just so that, uh, what's called, Flareon can either A, um, either A, Sweep or B, Wall Break for this team. Then after that we have Lantern that is going to be able to sponge up all the water type attacks that Flareon does not want to deal with. A Vol Switch, Scald, Toxic and Heal Bell just as a kind of uh, pivot in and around like checks to Flareon excuse me and also being able to kind of get Toxics and good um, good chip on everybody else after we got our, our Quiver Dance uh, Life Orb with Elitigant with Energy Ball, Sleep Powder and Hidden Power Rock Sleep Power so that we, we enable ourselves to get a free setup and then Energy Ball and Hidden Power Rock as the coverage moves that we need to be able to pick things away after we got Mulch Data, Brown, Be uh, what's called? Brown Beauty and Mulch Data just to eat up the physical attacks and also be able to set up Stealth Rocks Savali Dark as an answer for Mistbrip because Mistbrip just runs around the tier like it's nobody else's business. With Crunch, Defog, Parent Shot, and U-Turn. I might change one of these moves actually, but I just do not... I, a, I do not know what I want, uh, which one I want to get rid of. And B, I don't know what coverage move would be better for Savali Dark. If I could get... Gra if this, does this thing get Grass Knot? If this thing got Grass Knot, I would kind of throw Grass Knot on here as an answer for... I guess gla Grass Pledge. I'm tempted by that because we're finding that a lot of Mudsdales come in. And if I had an answer for Mudsdale, then that would be very interesting. Because the Valley then wouldn't... Oh. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to get rid of Parent Shot. I'm going to go for Grass Pledge. Because I find that Mudsdale has been a little bit of a hindrance. So having Grass Pledge might be able to hinder that just a touch. And like, look, if it fails, it fails. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. But I'm going to try it out. Maybe I would like parrying shot a little bit more. We'll see. But I'm going to give it a sm small slight tweak there. Just because once they we found to be a little bit of a nuisance, having another and support that might not be as obvious as Lilligant, let's say, will be really, really useful. And then after that, we got our Choice Scarf, Haunter with Shadow Ball, Switch Wave, Hidden Power Grunt, and Psychic as a way to kind of hopefully clean up late doors if Flareon had to end up wall breaking for us. With that being said, with that being said, let's get right on into it. And hopefully, we can have a, what's it called, a few nice fun battles. Climb up the ladder a little bit. If I can hit just above 1250 today, I would, I'd be quite happy. Based off the last stream, or not the last stream, the last video I did, it was a little bit more. What's called it was a little bit meh at times because like we had a few long battles, got four battles in, but so but, so I would like to get a few more in if we possibly can. But uh, okay, enough of that nonsense. Let's get right into it. We have Komala, Ludicolo, Arbok, Scyther, Smeargle, and Dustnor here. Now for me, this is screaming a Smeargle lead with either Spore and uh, what's called with Spore and actually suspect it's suspecting Lilligant <laughs> at the moment. So maybe I should uh, what's called. It's kind of glad that I'm using Lilligant then. We can kind of take a look at that all together, but. I feel like at the moment, Smeargle is is the clear lead here. I feel like with Spore and with Spore and Sticky Webs incoming. So because of that, I'm kind of want to go for Litigate, just get the the two energy balls off, and then late and later on, maybe against Dustnor, we can get Savai to get rid of them webs. So I think we'll do that because I just don't want to get Spored early. So we're gonna try that out and see what happens. Dustnor is going to be our lead very early on here. Okay, cool. I'm just going to hard go into my Savali. 
as he goes will o -Wisp. I'm okay with that because we are special. Actually, no, we are not. Oh, why did I think that? I'm an idiot. Um, why did I was having a bloody... Okay, fair enough. That's a little bit annoying, but we could, uh, but what's called, we could deal with it. I, I still rather have Grass Patch there as an answer for um, the Gosh Diggity Darn. The Gosh Diggity Darn must when we see it. Uh, part of me kind of wants to go into Lantern and get rid of this thing. I could go Crunch. I could go U-Turn here. I don't think anyone really likes a Crunch. So I'm going to go Crunch. As Arbok's got to come in here. Get the Intimidate off. That's alright. That's going to do very little. Only 12%. We now know your leftovers. You're actually Black Sludge, I should say. Um... Uh, I'm going to go into my Mudstead here. If we get glared, we get glared. He's just going to go coil. No problem. Uh, Mudstead, you can kind of deal with this a little bit. I'm going to go my, for my Stealth Rocks here. Get them up. He goes Toxic. Okay. Don't get swept by a bloody Coil or Arbok, Irish, whatever you do. Uh, let me go EQ. If there's another Coil. Oh, there's damage. I like that. Like that. That's plus two defense Arbok and it still does nothing. He's got no other than Scyther, he's got no real answer that wants to come in on this. I'm just gonna go EQ again. No need. We do eat that. Um but, but we are gonna go down to the toxic damage here. It's a little bit unfortunate to double down, but I do have my rocks up. And I would have liked the must for Scyther, but I'll take this I'll take it. I'll take that switch. Um okay. Uh I would like Again, I would like Lilligant here because Smeargle could be the lead. And also, let me see. Other than Smeargle, what's my fear here? I think Lantern actually might be safer. As Scyther is going to be the lead here. I'm okay with that. I am very okay with that. Uh, I could get Heatbelt off here and Savali is now is kind of sorted. So I'm going to do that. This thing looks like it's going to be a bulky pivot. Which is okay. Um... It might go for you turn here. If it does, I kind of want to just go for Toxic. So I'm going to do that. He's actually going to set up SD. Wow, okay. Um, I could go Vol Switch. I could go Skull Leader. If I go Vol Switch, slow Vol Switch into what now? That is going to be the next question. Probably out to Haunter and pick it off. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go Vol Switch. There's the Bug Bite. We get, we get smacked there. And if I'm being honest, I'm not too impressed with the damage that we that we uh, we what's called we only got off on that point. He's probably gonna have bug by aerial ace. He's probably gonna have aerial ace. Uh he's gonna have aerial ace. I still want to keep Flareon on the back because Flareon does do work to Ludicolo. Scyther, the Smeargle sash is broken, this Dust Nord gets broken, Komala gets broken. So I definitely want to keep Flareon on the back to kind of potentially clean up and maybe win late doors. Um your speed you outspeed my Lilligant, which is a nightmare, but you do outspeed it. So, I kind of need... I kind of need for something to get a hit here. So Haunter can kind of come in and click Shadow Ball. Now, Haunter does an awful lot of work here as well, but I do need... Which, yeah, I need. I kind of need to get rid of... I need, I need a little bit more chip on you before you can do anything. Let me have a quick look at a Calc. But I think I definitely need... Uh, some answers here. I definitely need to make sure that I do I do the right thing and we don't choke this. Haunter, yeah, we only do yeah, I need I needed a couple more turns here. Balls, that sucks. Um okay, if that's the case, what do I need the least? Probably Savali. Probably Lilligant. Probably Lilligant, yeah. So I'm gonna go with that. There's the twelve percent. I'm just gonna go ahead and power rock and then Haunter can revenge kill it with Sludge Wave. I think that's all I can do. We outspeed that. Okay. All right. I was def. I was pure. I was anticipating us not us being that. One hundred percent. Um, you're probably going to go ice beam. So I think Savali is the play. As you go, okay. Fake out first. No problem. We do eat that. Uh, I'm going to go. You turn here. That's big damage. I like that. And I'm going to go back in. as he forfeits. Awesome. Okay, so we actually managed just to beat him there. Perfect. Got the GG's. That was scary. The Arabok and the Scyther did an awful lot of work. But I think just because we managed to preserve... What you got? The Scyther not being max speed was fishy. Was fishy. I definitely expected us not to... I definitely expected us to get bought by that. But 
Somehow, some way we managed to survive. Um, with Illigant, I was purely expecting us to lose two mines there and Haunter to revenge kill. And we'd go from there. I think we were fine though, but it would have been much closer of a battle uh, if that was the case. I think we would have, I think we weren't, I think we would definitely be a lot more careful and we would have been okay. But anyways, on to the next one. Uh, okay, here we go. So we see Guzzard, Mesprit, Victory Belt, Rodan Frost, Primeape, and Kangaskhan. So Kangaskhan could be wish, wish support here. Um, Primeape could be just being a boss. Um, you know, it could be Scarfed. Scarf Primeape could be a bit of a problem here because Haunter speed ties with it. Um, Mesprit probably looks bulky because though it could be Specs potentially. Victory Belt. I'm not too sure what Victory Belt is going to do here. Uh, okay, who is going to lead with? He's probably going to lead with Primeape or Mesprit or Rodan Frost. Now, for me, Savali is good for two of those, and if it's Primeape, we have to go immediately out into my Mud out into Mudsdale or Lantern. Uh, I'm going to lead with my, my Savali, I think that's the safest bet. As he leads with his Rodan Frost, I'm okay with that. Um, I am going to go for. I think Crunch is relatively free here. Because I think he might just go... Well, maybe... I, I think he might go for the slow Volt Switch. So I think going for a Crunch would be the best play. As he's actually faster than me. So he's got some... Uh, it looks like he could be Scarfed. So that might be something to work. That, that is worth writing down. It looks like that is a Scarfed. But it's definitely got Speed Investment. He's going to bring in his Primeape. Now we get a nice bit of damage on that. And a Defense Drop. But he does get a Defiant Boost. And that is not good. That is not good for us at all. At all. Um, okay. Who do I really need here? I don't really need, in my opinion, Lantern. Too much. Not against this team. I need Savali from Mistbrit and Rodan Frost. Um, does Lilligant... Do I need Lilligant here? Can Lilligant win me a game here? Not with Guzzlord knocking around. And victory by knocking around. Uh, Flareon can win me the game though. Uh, yeah, Flareon can win me the game. It can break through a lot of the stuff here. And Haunter can sweep late doors if Kangaskhan is gone rid of. Uh, okay, it looks like Lilligan might be the least. Might be the one I need the least here. Oh, I hate getting, I hate dropping it though. Um, I'm going to go Lantern. I'm going to go Lantern. As he, he just goes U-turn. Okay, that worked out. That worked out nicely. I was really not expecting that, guys. I was expecting us to get bopped. It was a good thing that we, we didn't. We went out to Lantern. I was expecting plus two attack. We're dead. We're dead. He's actually going to go into his Mesprit here. Now, he's probably going to try and get Rocks or uh, Rocks or Toxic here. Parry wants to go for my own Toxic. Put this thing on a bit of a timer. Vol switch out into my Savali and get, let Savali defog the, ha the hazards away so i think we might just do that he just does go he does go for his rocks we're gonna get that off and he's either gonna stay in or he's gonna switch uh i think he might u-turn here i'm gonna go for the slow vol switch get the momentum back that's exactly what he's gonna do uh no idea who's gonna go into at least misper is now toxic that's gonna be on a bit of a timer it's gonna get slowly worn down it's gonna be a little bit easier for us to deal with he's gonna go into his victory battle here uh this is interesting this is interesting i feel like savali can get rid of rocks against this thing so i'm gonna go for the defog because this thing this could be physical or special i'm not too sure but victory bell normally does like the sun i'm gonna go for my defog get rid of these hazards i feel like it's red to be free as he's actually gonna go into guzzlord here i'm all right with that i am very much okay with that uh, i know i would speed you but at the same time i don't really have another special wall here other than lantern lantern could potentially come in here on a draco i'm gonna go a few turn get damage off uh, bring in Lantern again because I kind of in my head I've got Lantern as a sack. There's the Draco. We do go down to it. He's minus two now, which is very very nice for us. Um, well, he's minus one actually after taking the after taking the what's called the, the Beast Boost after getting the Beast Boost. Uh, I could go for Sleep Powder here. I could go into Mudsdale. What do I need? I need Mustard for Prime though, so I don't want to risk that just yet. I'm going to Flareon and start breaking a little bit. Which is an option. Can I just break with Flareon right out of the gate with a uh, superpower without having to set up? That is a good question. Let me have a look at that. 
because if I could just go straight for the, uh, let me just say this is choice specs for instance, because uh, it could well be, I don't know yet. Let me just go with the this set. Um, I'm not choice banned, so let's just get that out of the way. Silver power does 60 to, between 60 and 71 percent. You are minus one, so Draco will get big damage off on us. But I will two shot. I will two shot with superpower here. Guaranteed. And I kinda I don't mind that actually. I don't mind that. So I'm just gonna go for the uh I could go return then superpower. Cause uh, yeah, because if he stays in, I just go return, then superpower, return and hit everything here rather than him going out to say misper and eating something or whatever. So I'm gonna go click I'm gonna click return first. He does actually go on to misper it. That is perfect. That is one. That is fine by us. We read that nicely. Um, I'm gonna go into my Savali. I was there. I was tempted about most. I was like, nah. We go out to Savali. Um, you're probably going to hard switch here. I'm just going to. I could you turn right in front of your face, get damage. I really, really, really want rocks away here. So I'm just going to defog these away. They're going to go into your primate. again with the plus two attack though. That's a disaster. I gotta be. I should have known a bit more about that defiant. I shouldn't have defogged, I should have U-turned there. That was that's a shocking bad play by me. Um I need I still need this thing knocking around. Mustel, you're solely here for this primate. So you're just gonna U-turn, you're gonna eat that. Get plus one defense. Guzzard. Victory Bell's gonna come in. Okay, cool. Um Predicting the grass type attack. Litigant, I think, is the play. As uh, so there's the energy ball, we eat that. Now I can get a quiver dance off here. But he might have Sludge Wave. Or sludge bomb. Uh, so I could go hit and power rock. If he sludge bomb, he's probably maybe Haunter might be the play. I could get chip on this though. Haunter still does a load of work for our team. A load of work, especially when Guzzler goes down. Um, so Parami kind of wants to just go hit and power rock. If I go QD, if I go Quiver Dance, right? Here's the question. Here is a question, ladies and gentlemen, right? If I go Quiver Dance, right? Can I live? Can I live one of these? Up against uh, victory about I'm just gonna say uh, I'm just gonna say like, chlorophyll sweeper. You got such bomb. If I go to plus one, you ain't. No, we ain't living that. Okay, we ain't living one. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know if you're locked into this or not. If I go into haunter, if I go into, if I go into haunter, can I kill this thing? Hold on. If I go into haunter, can I kill this thing? Uh, with psychic. Not quite, okay, not quite. I feel like we have to go... I haven't seen... I'm gonna go ahead and power rock. I haven't quite, oh, we, I, mean, I do get a bit of a hit there. So that does guarantee us, and there's Sludge Bomb. That does guarantee the Haunter would kill. I'm okay with that. I'm, oh yeah, I'm actually, oh yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm gonna bring in Haunter. He's probably gonna go straight with the Guzzlord here. Now if you go straight with the Guzzlord, I would like to bring in Savali. I'm on a timer here, which is scary. I would like to bring in Savali. Yeah, I'm gonna bring in Savali. I'm gonna predict a double. That timer was killing me as I was trying to figure out what to do, which sucks. He goes out to Kangaskhan. Okay, I'm all right with that. Um, I'm all right with that. Let me go for U-turn here. You go for fake out. We eat it, okay? Let me go you turn again. Oof. This is a alright, this is actually quite tight, this one. Quite quite tight. But I'm just gonna go you turn here. He went straight for the double edge. Ooh. Right. Okay. Okay. You went double edge. Right. Now I can get rocks up here. Now as soon as I get rocks. As soon as I get rocks, we're, we're, we're potentially in business here. I think Flareon can win the game if we get rocks up. I'm going to get rocks up now. He's going to bring his Misprit. I'm alright with that. Uh, I could go... I could hard go into Haunter here. I could go into Flareon. I think Flareon has to be our win condition though. We, still have, to, oh, we, still, we have the chance to win this. Um, I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna go into Flareon. I'm going to force it. There's, yeah, I was thinking he might go rocks. Uh, I am going to go for my uh, Z move and uh, Z celebrate. 
and get up to plus get up to plus one everything. There we go. Now let's see what you got, son. Healing wish. Who are you going out into? Who are you going out into? Are you going out to Guzzlord? Now, if he goes out to Guzzlord, right? We still bop it with the superpower, and we have the plus one speed to still actually cause havoc on his team. He does go out to Guzzlord, right? He get, takes the rocks. I just to double check here now, guys. Just to double check, right? Uh, if he's Guzzlord, I'm going to say not Huzzlord. You know that would be a great name. Um, if he is Guzzlord, I'm going to be in Flareon. Uh, let's say Wallbreaker set. I have to. Yeah, no, no, no option here. Have to go for superpower. Simple as that. Yeah, there we go. There, that's that dead. Uh, now, I still, I'm, look, I've still got very, very high attack stat. I still got flare blitz. I still outspeed everything. Uh, Primate could still be not gonna. But Primate, I don't think Primate can all call me. I don't think Primate can all call me. I don't think Primate can all call me. I'm going to click flare blitz. It does all call me. Damn it. Okay. But you're locked into that now. You're locked into it. Uh, you're locked into it. I could go Shadow Ball here. Get some damage. But you do have that Kangaskhan lurking. You do have that Kangaskhan lurking. Oh, man, this sucks. Um, I thought we were not doing too bad here either. Um, I thought we were doing okay. Uh, what am I doing skin at level 15? Playing too much Wi-Fi. Um, up against uh, our Haunter, Choice Scarf user, Soldier Wave. Soldier Wave is the play. Soldier Wave is the play. Uh, let me come back here. Soldier Wave, let's do it. My right, Primate was gone. So it all depends on Rodan Frost. All depends on Rodan Frost. In comes Rodan Frost. Can I kill Rodan Frost here? That's a if you're Rotom Frost, you're... Such Wave does not kill at this moment in time. Does not kill. So part of me would like to go into my Mudsdale. Yeah. Come on, do you go full switch, buddy? Do you go full switch? You go Z moves. You went straight in for the Sub-Zero Hammer. All right, I'm all okay with that. We eat that Z move. In comes Haunter. I have to go, I have to go Such Wave. I have to go Such Wave. Now do you kill? Oh, there's a the poison. There's a T-Bow. Ah, he wasn't scarped at all. He was even, of course. Yeah, sure. Which sucks, but GG. GG. I think he played very well there. I could have I really thought he would maybe scarp, but he, he just had offense. He just had speed investment. Hmm. Tough, tough game like that. Where did, I'm not too sure where we lost all of our momentum. We've actually taken a huge hit on the ladder there after that L. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. I right, let's go for another one. Where did we go wrong with that one? I thought we were okay with we a bit of back and forth. Maybe it's because I, I didn't have much answers for Guzzlord. It's a little bit, little bit annoying. Uh, but we'll see. Lilligant as well, I feel like it's been suspect tested, but relying on Hidden Power Rock and Energy Ball isn't great, if I'm being honest. Right, anyways, moving on. We have, uh, okay, we've got Corbonable, Odino, Executor, Earthring, Misprit, Hitmonchan. Misprit is the rock setter. Hitmonchan is the assault best rapid spinner. Earthring with... Earthwing is going to be scary, actually. If this is either Quick Feet or Guts, that's going to be a nightmare. So Mustard has to be, Mustard has to check that. Uh, Executor is going to be a little bit nuisance. Litigant might have to come in and out on that one. Uh, but other than that, we'll see. Uh, I think he leaves with Misprit. I don't see him leaving with anything else. So I think in that case, we might go Savali. Actually, did a fire boost on... The defiant boost on the gosh darn primate was what killed us in the last game. That was a nightmare. I'm gonna go crunch here. That's nice damage. Really nice damage. So he goes trick room. Interesting. Right, I'm gonna go for the slow U turn here. As you, yeah, you go for your fast one. I'm gonna go for my slow U turn. There's the, uh, there is this, uh, what's called that? Gosh darn crab. I'm gonna bring in my lantern. I think mean, that's what we do. Uh, I'm going to go for Scald. He has EQ <laughs> and his life orb. Okay, he's got that coverage. We do get, we do snag that burn, and that is huge. Um, 
Okay, you're probably going to go for fighting type move or uh, fighting type move or an ice type attack here. He's got two more rooms to trick room. If I can stall him out for those two two turns, that'd be fantastic. Your speed is probably going to be 81. I have no one that's that slow. No one that's that slow. Uh, do I risk Haunter here? What can Haunter do for me? Can Bop the Executor, can, but so can Savali. I think we might risk Haunter here based on the look on his team. So I'm going to risk the fighting type move. There we go. Um, yes, a little bit of burn damage. I'm going to probably sack. No, he's, if he's, probably, he's either going to go EQ. No, he's not going to go EQ. He's going to go for the ice type attack. So if he's going to go for the ice type attack, I might bring in Flareon, but I would like to keep Flareon healthy. Um, I might sack Lantern. What else does Lantern do for me here? Not overly too much. Okay, we might sack Lantern here. Ice Hammer. Yeah, I was definitely thinking he would. There's the minus one speed. There's the life over coil. There's the burn damage. There's the trick room gone. That's absolutely fantastic. Brilliant. Um, okay, I don't see any answer here for Sludge Wave from Haunter. So I feel like we can bring in that. I don't see any answer here for Flareon. Actually, he's got EQ, which is a little bit annoying. But I can get up to plus two. Uh, actually, yeah, I think... I think we could break here with Flareon, and I think Haunter with Sludge Wave can clean up. So I think we, I think we might go for that. I think that is what I think that is the place. Let me go for the Z Celebrate. As he's going to bring in, he's going to bring in his comeback the Audino. I like it. I like. It. Unfortunately, now I'm I'm going to run right over this Audino. Uh, I kind of want to just make sure that I can just go for. I could literally just go for the Flare Blitz. Uh, Flareon can Flare Blitz kill. Close, but knockoff isn't going to do anything, anything, absolutely anything to me here. So I'm just going to go for the flare bits. Go for this. Go for the kill. Okay. Just miss out. Just miss out. He goes for trick room. Jewel trick room users here, which is a little bit annoying. Um, I'm going to go. Kind of want to go for another return here. Kind of want to go for a return here. But what do you got into? Like, what are you going to do? Can I? Or do I just go for the kill? I think we just go for the kill, if I'm being honest. Let's just go for the kill. Yeah, in comes this Mirror Spirit. You're dead. Thank you. I don't want you don't want you healing back up. Right, perfect. Okay, he still got the Crab Honorable here. That's going to come in. Uh, now, your Life Orb, EQ. Can you kill me? I, Parami, big, big Parami is thinking, yes, he can. Yes, he can. Uh... Yes, he can. Uh, you got, not Power Punch, you got Earthquake. I know you have that. I know your life orb, but I also know you are burnt. Uh, EQ is still going to kill us. Cool. All right, I would like to, all right, knowing that your team is slow, I would like to keep you safe and sound. Uh, three more turns of this. I could risk counter, but I'm not. I'm going to just use my Mudstead here. As we do eat that up. That was a crit. We do get a plus one defense. That is nice. We're going to eat up a nice hammer from this thing, which is brilliant. I am just going to set my rocks here. I'll, you know, I think that's just the be better way to go about it. We're going to get the plus two defense. You're going to go down to life over coil, get our rocks up. That's fantastic. So that leaves Ardino. Ardino will okay. If Ardino is regenerator, it's going to be it's it'll be fine and live. But if it's a uh, healer, it's not going to be burnt anymore. Um, okay, now you probably have ice punch. You're going to have Ice Punch. Earth Swing is still a massive problem. Massive, massive problem here. Um, so if you're going to have Ice Punch, what do I want? Haunter can still do work. It's still do massive work. If you're going to have Ice Punch, you're going to have... I don't think you have max speed here, buddy. But you are going to have Mock Punch. Uh, I want Savali knocking around... Do I need Flareon? I don't think so. I don't think we need Flareon as much as I need my Mudsdale. So I'm going to bring in Flareon. It goes Rapid Spin. Cool. Uh, right. I'm going to go... I can't go Z Celebrate anymore, but I can get a big, mad Flare Blitz off. I'm going to go for that. He just just pick us off the Mach Punch. That's okay. Um, now, I have a few options here. I feel like we can go into our Lilligant. I can get a Sleep Powder off. Land this, please, Lilligant. He's just going to bring his egg. That's okay. That's cool. Uh, any kind of chip here on you would be lovely. Lovely. You might go toxic though. 
or psychic. So it's gonna to be toxic or psychic. I'm just gonna bring Savali. No need to risk it. Not a trick room user. Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked by trick room. But uh I could U-turn. U-turn is actually probably our best play, so I'm gonna do that. In comes Earthswing. He's I think he's gonna be good. He's not gonna be quick feet because of the amount of trick room we're seeing. So I'm just gonna bring in my Mudsdale here. Uh, there's the guts boost. Uh no. He does kind of outspeed us here. Which is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I won't lie. Uh, this is where I would love to have. <laughs> this is where I would love to have the gosh darn. Um, oh, protect. I think we're going to go EQ. He has facade. Yeah. I should have predicted that, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to bring Haunter here. And what I'm going to do, do is, right, I, I believe Sludge Wave does a ton of work here. Still, uh, Lilligan's probably my best bet though. Okay, I think he goes EQ. Right, if he goes EQ, then I need Lilligant. Oh, no, if he goes EQ, then I should bring in Lilligant. I should. I keep Savali. Do I need Haunter? Yeah, Haunter does a good bit here still with Sludge Waves. So I feel like we go on Lilligant. Yeah, I think that's what we do. I see him on Crunch. Yeah. Cool. Uh, still one more turn. I feel like he just goes for another crunch. He might go Savali. If he goes for another crunch, do I bring Savali? Do I need Savali? Healthy. <sighs> Everything's so slow on this team. Barry and McChamp. McChamp will just bot me. Uh, I think we bring in... I think we just go for the energy ball. Yeah, just sack it. Because I kind of need... I kind of need my uh, Savali relative to be healthy. I'm going to bring in Haunter. I think we just go... Uh, Sludge Wave. And we... Oh man, I'm getting wrecked here in PU. Not doing a good job at all. There's the crunch we didn't kill. That's unfortunate. Now, I think he's got GG's. I think he's got GG's. Um, I'm going to go crunch. Well, I think he's got GG's. Because Big Champ just wrecks us. So that's going to be GG's, unfortunately. Man... I'm supposed to be here trying to showcase what to do, like how to play PU. Getting wrecked. Getting absolutely wrecked. Okay. I definitely sit down maybe and have a look at this team. For some reason, again, okay, for some reason, right. I don't think I played terribly the last two battles, right, that we've lost. But we're nowhere near laddering high enough, right, and that's a fact. Um, I probably might need to sit down. And figure out okay why is like what are we lacking on this team what are we what are we getting wrecked with like to be honest a lot of the time we lose a, a momentum very early at the moment we're losing a momentum very early at the moment because lanterns going down as my first sack and that's definitely a bit of a nuisance I think uh, the fact that you know something the other, I think a big problem here is that we have lantern Mudsdale and Savali Dark as our walls as a base our bulk but none of them have reliable recovery. Not one of them has a reliable recovery. And this is a this is a problem, essentially. This is a problem. I'm relying on most they to do ton, tons of work for me, but it's not going great. Uh, okay, so... I definitely need to figure out what is a good answer for Mistbrit, okay? So let me have a, let me have a search here for Mistbrit inside the Spogon thing with Jake. Right, okay. What is... What's, give it, what is checking you? What's beating you at the moment? Steel types, uh, especially defensive walls, ghost types, strong attackers, don't care, dark types, spirit tomb, we could go spirit tomb here, spirit tomb, could be, mm, if we go spirit tomb do I need haunter as much, do I need haunter as much, um, we could go spirit tomb, do I, could I get a steel type in here? Go for Agron. Mm, do, 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 do. It's interesting, interesting. What I'm gonna do is, mm, yeah, no, let's, let's see if we can make a change here and then try it out for a battle or two before we wrap up today's video. So, all right, I need an answer for, I, yeah, I, I straight up need an answer for this gosh diggy darn misbrit. 
Right now, what's locking around in here at the moment? We could go Agron. That could be interesting. Again, though, no reliable recovery if we go Agron. Right? Probably has no real reliable recovery there either. Um, like, I kind of just want something that can sponge your hit, heal it off, and go again, like, you know? Um, let me have another look around. Like, what could work here with this? Gastrodon? We could do... Uh, no, honestly, guys, right, what we could do... I think we keep Savai and Brambrio, but I think Lantern... I think you're gone, buddy. And I think we go Gastrodon. And the reason why I'm thinking Gastrodon is because... We still get Storm Drain, which is, like, you know, the water immunity that we're looking for. Um, against us. I think we go Scald... I think we go Ice Beam. And uh, because we have Lilligan that can threaten bulky water types that can set up on it essentially. It threatens them out the whole time. I think we go toxic and I think we go recover. And I think we go I'm gonna go max but death here. I'm gonna go max but death here. Maybe this might not be the best way of going about. Actually, what's the what's your analysis say? What's the kind of more what's the optimal set here? Yeah, I think we go to I, ooh. Why do you have EQ? Um, Jason, okay, in power ground, okay. Uh, you could then force them out and use toxic on the switch in, attack or heal if low due to ground type, yeah. However, it dislikes me, hit by coverage moves that uses a full switch commonly have, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what is going on here? Uh, as to do. Our relaxed nature is preferred over impure bullet as it doesn't make the scald or earthquake. EV investment. Oh. Is it just because I don't see why we have EQ over Earth Power? I'm not seeing the reason behind that. I'm just not seeing the uh, reason behind it. It's used over Earth Power as it hits Alone and Right Shoot Lantern and Jinx harder than Earth Power. Thank you very much. That's what I was looking for. I'm gonna rock this out. I'm gonna rock out this out. I just feel like. I feel like not having a mon that we can just that is bulky and lives hits and can recover. I think that's really killing us. I really do think that's killing us. So we're gonna kinda of go with this, I believe. Skull recover toxic earthquake. We'll go with this set. I don't see why not. And we will I think we'll give it a go. Because I feel like our bulk is just getting worn down the whole time. Like we're taking hits and it's fine, but when we take a hit we're not we're not able to heal. So I think that's what's killing us. So we're going to make a change there with Gastrodon. And I think what we might do is we might play one more battle. I'm going to edit. Uh, what's going on? Not edit, but we might wrap it up there. But one more battle. I have to say, though, very poor outing last two streams. Or not two streams, two videos to try and ladder up here at PU. Like, we are struggling badly. And first, last video, I would say a lot of it was just bad play by me. This time around, I think maybe just... I don't think I played as badly, but we have... We've definitely fought. We've definitely stiffed, which is unfortunate. Anyways, okay, so we see Swoobat, which could have the ability to kind of, you know, boost its uh, stats, which is very annoying. Electivire, Hitmonchan, Scyther, Alona Diglett, and Jellicent. Jellicent could be a bit of a nu nuisance, but we'll go. We'll have to deal with it as we go along. Um, I think it leaves with Scyther as a pivot, as a U-Turner, if I'm being honest. So if he's going in with Scyther, I would like to lead with my Mudsdale. I think mean, that's what he kind of might do. He leaves with his Jellicent. That's a great read. I'm going to go into my Gastrodon here. As he goes for his Magic Coat. So that means that I cannot go for Toxic here on this thing. That is a little bit annoying. Parmid now wants to just force in Litigant. Because I was thinking... Yeah, I think we might force in... Oh, do I want to force in Litigant? Litigant wins this game. After two Q QDs. Can I step on this Jellicent? I don't know. Um... I'm gonna. I, I kind of want to slowly bring this in. I'm gonna bring in Savali here. As he goes magic coat again, he is really baiting that. He is really baiting that. I'm gonna go for the crunch. As in comes that scyther, we're gonna get a bit of chip on that scyther, which is which is always great. Bring in my mud still now, just to counter it. That was a little bit scary. See magic coat and Jellison like that. We can set up rocks until. Actually, I can set up rocks now. Um, I know you can't hurt me. Do I want you to break through me here? Or do I want to sell, uh, like, 
Do I want to set rocks? Or do I want to go for rock scyther here? Because you're just so scary. Let me have a look at scyther here. If it's... If I can type scyther into the thing. That'd be fantastic. Uh, S-C-Y-T-H. Thank you. Uh, you are plus two against my... Mudsdale, which is stealth rock. Area is doing an awful lot of work. But it's only got a slight chance to kill me uh, with lefties recovery. I could get up rocks and keep going. So I think that's what we do. I think we just get up rocks. As he goes for bug bite. That does so much. They're all kind of bug bite on this. I need to just be more wary of it, to be honest. Um, That's a huge mistake for me. I should have just killed this. I should have just killed this thing. And not being worried. I should have just went, no, you're dead. I just went with it. Um... Okay, what Electivire, you, you can still do work here against Electivire, which is unfortunate. Uh, Savali, you can still do work here against Jelson. That is just a bad play. That's a bad, bad play by me. That is shocking. Uh, Haunted, you can still work. Lilligant can win me the game. Flareon, I don't think you do as much work here, so I'm going to bring you in here. Is there's the area That's fine. That is fine. I'm going to bring in... I'm gonna have to bring in. Do I bring in Lilligant? Oh man, I think we lose to this. I think I straight up lose this because of my massive misplay. Massive misplay. I'm gonna go for the Sludge Wave. I guess it's down a little bit to 43. That's unfortunate. Um, I think Gastron can live a hit here. Gastron can live a hit here. And finish this. I probably. Yeah. And I think we go... I have to go Scald here. Uh, get a little bit chip. I think we go Toxic. Yeah, I think we've lost this game because I have just made a massive misplay and not gone for the Rock Slide and killed a Scyther because it was a threat on the field. And that is just... That's just bad, bad play. That is just bad, bad play. Uh, I feel like we can get... We sack Mudsdale here. There's the bug bite. That's okay. You get you just take a little bit of damage. Uh, if I can just make this a 5-0, that is shocking. I am I'm actually disgusted with myself, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm absolutely disgusted with myself. That is awful play. Uh I kinda need do I need Savali? If Lilig is going with me the game, I don't need Savali. I'm gonna have to just bring in this thing and go for, go for it. Go for the crunch. As he goes bug bite. Yep, that's fine. Now, if you're that, no, hold on. I'll bring in Gastrodon here. And we sack this thing, and Lilligant, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do work, buddy, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm gonna go recover, and the option see Roost, but he doesn't, he just goes for the kill. He goes down. Uh, Lilligant, this is on you, girl. This is all on you. In comes the Hitmonchan. Uh, all right, I have to click, I have to click Sleep Powder. We land it. That's lovely. Litigant. Do you do this, girl? This would be ridiculous. This would be absolutely ridiculous. I don't deserve this W at all. I deserve to... I actually... I do fully deserve to lose this game, guys. I... That was a massive, massive misplay on Scyther. I should have just killed it. I'm just going to kick, kick in. How many QDs do I need to kill... Him on Chan? This is the question. This is the question. If I'm Litigant... Quiver Dance up against uh, Hitmonchan, Salt Fest. I, I got an Energy Ball and your Life Orb. I need, do I need plus two? I need plus three. I need plus three potentially. Oh, that's not good. All right, let me go for another QD. I he is still asleep. Uh, let me go for another QD. He wakes up, he goes for rapid spin. Right, I have to go, I have to go energy ball here. I could go sleep powder. Get, no, energy ball. There we go, beautiful. Right, now if Swoobat comes in as Scarf, oh sorry, if Swoobat comes in as Sash, we're in trouble. In comes this Doug Drio, uh, I'm clicking energy ball again. There we go, there's the crit. Don't, don't think that matters. 
I don't know if we, I, we might win this, guys, if he's, if he doesn't have a sash. In comes Jellicent. Uh, we have to click. Do I click Seed Powder here? Ooh, do I click Seed Powder? Or do I try it one more time? Uh, let's see, Jellicent. Uh, let me just say your utility. So I'm sorry, utility sent is a set. Oh, we no, we just we just go for the kill. We just go for the kill. No need to worry. We just go for the energy ball. There's another one dead. That just leaves Electivire and Swoobat left. In comes Electivire. I'm just clicking energy ball again. No sash. Finally, finally, elect. What? Motor drive. I get it. I was wondering what was going on there. Uh, I'm going to go energy ball again. He does go for the quick attack. Not enough. Oh, man. Interesting tech that. And it comes through about plus two defense. Uh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and power rocks. The only option I have. Down it goes. GG. I did not deserve to win that though. I did not deserve to win that at all. I made a horrible play there on that Scyther. Horrible, horrible play on that Scyther. Um, which was not good enough. It was not good enough. I it was absolutely atrocious. Um, I should have just gone for the rock side, kill off that Scyther. We would have had six mons. I would be, and I would have been able to beat. I would have been able to beat him way more comfortably. Um, that one massive misplay was absolutely atrocious. Um, I'll do one more battle. I'll do one more battle. Where am I? Where am I on the ladder? Let's be honest. How far? How far have I fallen? I have fallen. Oh, yeah, I have fallen badly. Uh, okay, I'm going to do one more battle because at the very worst situation, if today's episode we don't go anywhere, but I have found out, like if we have we have patched up a weakness on the team, then it's it's for the better. It's for the better. So I'll go along with that. Right. So we see Delikai, Skun Tank, Himonchan, Lilligant, Mawile, and Swuba. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Mawile is probably going to be some intimidate thing. Swuba is going to be a little bit annoying. Lilligant. Going to Lilligant things. Who do you leave with? Do you leave with Delicati? I do not know what this Delicati wants to do to me. Might be a cyst or some nonsense like that. Um, I feel like if Lilligant is leading, he's already going to leave with Lilligant. Might leave with Swuba. I'm going to leave with my Mudsdale because I'm as he leaves with his Mawal. I'm okay with this. Uh, I'm going to set my rocks. So he goes toxic. More right with that. More right with that. If I can just if I can get damage off on you, uh, that'd be a great day. I could bring Gastron, but I don't want to. See, so gets up his rocks. Okay. So we still get massive damage off. He hasn't really got. A, he doesn't want to bring Swoo back here too freely. I'm just gonna go for another EQ. As he does bring, he does bring Lilligant. Okay. Interesting. All right. Uh, we have to bring in. I could bring in my Haunter here. For the incoming, um, so he's either going to go sleep powder or equivalence. I'm going to bring in Haunter because Haunter just threatens, just threatens this thing out immediately. Stone Spore. Okay, interesting. Um, that does slow. That has slowed us down massively. Mm, you're a little bit more useless now, buddy. I'm not gonna lie. I could go Sludge Wave. That could bring Skun Tank. If it brings in Skun Tank, I don't want to risk Glastodon or my Mudsdale here, right, right, in, like instantly, at the moment. Don't want to risk it. Um, so I might bring Savali. I'm gonna go Sludge Wave here. If he does bring in Skun Tank, just get a bit of chip on it. We do get, we got nice chip there, to be honest. Uh, okay, I'm gonna bring in my. He might go Toxic Spikes. I'm going to bring Savali. As he airs the Pursuit. Nicely done with the Pursuit Trap. Uh, that's grand. Okay. Now, here's the thing, guys. Um, I can bring in Flareon here to do a bit of breaking. So we might just do that. I might just go Z Celebrate. Uh, there's Poison Jab. <sighs> okay, that's not, that's not massive fun, but it's... Okay, maybe I. Oh, I think I think guys, I am tilting. To be honest, because I should not have done that. I should have gotten rid of my hazards. I should have gotten rid of my hazards, because he's got sucker punch. This was an awful, horrendous idea. 
Awful horrendous idea. I'm going to go click return, but we're going to die to the sucker punch here. Yeah. That was awful play. Um, now, Ligand, if I, can get rid of this, if I can get rid of this thing, actually, Ligand could potentially still do a little bit of work for me. Because Mawile's weakened. Um, so, with that being said, do I want to defog? I, want, I do want to defog here. We do eat up that poison jab. We get poison, hand flinched. Uh, let me still go for the defog. Get rid of these nasty hazards. We'll go down. And now we have to bring Gastrodon. Oh man, this has not been good. Uh, I could bring, I could go Scald or Earthquake. He get, he Frenchy is, go, he, actually, I'm going to go Toxic predicting Lilligant. He go, he's going to go into Hitmonchan. Okay. All right. Uh, I no problem going for, I could go into my, my must here and get rocks up. I might just do that. Here he goes, Drain Punch. We got Stanima Boost, that's nice. Uh, if he goes on to Lilligant here, I could go into my own, prevent the setup. I think I have to, I have to be very aggressive here. I think he goes on to Lilligant. I think he went Ice Punch, oh. I was not hope. I was ho really hoping he wouldn't do that, but that was a great, that was a good read by him. All right, I went to Gastrodon. Well, I don't know if that was a great read. He just—he didn't have to force. He, like he wasn't forcing to make it any silly plays. Like you know. Uh, all right, let me go. Let me go recover here. That's income swooba. All right. I'm okay with that. Let me go toxic. Speaking of toxic, actually, and there, yeah, he's got the uh, simple that gives him double, double boosted. I definitely, I definitely need to tinker with this team a little bit more. I say next stream, next video, I might tinker with this team a little bit more because, like, obviously I'm making bad plays. I may play, but I'm been making bad plays in this game. I'm going to get six old here, um, but it shouldn't be as bad as what they are. Let me go. You will outspeed me, so let me go recover. Oh, he's actually gone for another combine. Okay, because I just I. I ain't got no switching, boys. I ain't got no switching. There's the psychic. We're just gonna recover that off. There's a little bit of chip. Uh, I think we might sack our Mudsdale here, just to get more of that um, more of that toxic damage off. Um, uh, I can't win with Gastrodon or Lilligan for that matter. Um, uh, so let me go cover. We're just, yeah, we're going to get five out here. Oh my god. Yeah, we're going to get 5-0'd. Uh, I'm just going to go for the power here. I should kill this thing. I see how it speeds. Oh my god. We got 6 old instead. That is shocking. Now that does happen to me quite often, guys. So don't worry about that. Uh, okay. I think flat out. I need to tinker with this. Uh, maybe 2 ground types isn't going to work. You could, I was definitely like in my own bubble when I was doing that. So 2 ground types isn't going to work. Got to fix that. Uh, Am I going to? Am I going to persist with the Z celebrate Flareon, or can I get something better? I'm gonna have to have a think about it. I'm gonna have to have a think about. It. Definitely need to work around this bulk. Um, yeah, because two ground types isn't gonna work out for me. Because I got no Lilligant answer, or no Grass type switching, other than Haunter, and Lilligant with Sleep Powder or Stun Spore is gonna shut me down. So I can't have that. I gotta have a. I gotta have a better answer for that. And I don't want to bring in Flareon too much on. Lilligant. So it's a tough, it's a tough, tough call. I need to get rid of one of these ground types, and I need to get, and I need, I need to battle it better as well. So I think next time you'll see me, guys, I'm going to be tinkering with this, this team live in front of you guys. If you got any suggestions or ideas, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear it. Um, but yeah, I think that's definitely going to be it. I apologize, guys. That was a gigantic waste of time. <laughs> but it is what it is. I used to get a CB struggle. You know, that's the whole idea of the series. Is that I'm going to build a team. We're going to struggle. And we might we'll eventually break through that glass ceiling and make progress. So I am going to wrap it up here today, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please click the like button down below for me. If you guys got a comment on today's video, whether it be good, bad, or indifferent, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, your thoughts on the video, the team, uh, any suggestions that we 
could do it, maybe tinker with it, all that kind of good stuff, let me know. Uh, let, let me know, uh, what's called, let me know on Discord server or, or on Twitter as well. Links to all that is going to be in the description down below if you haven't signed up for those yet, I don't know what you're doing. And if you haven't clicked the subscribe button down below for me, then you have to do that as well and click that bell icon because you don't just have to see me fail. There's like the other guys that are doing stuff on the channel are actually doing good stuff. They're actually, they're actually they're succeeding where, where I am failing. So definitely have a look at doing that. But yeah, on that note, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.